All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the Bank 2 Sensor 2 on a 4.0 to Toyota Tacoma. Now, this will be similar to the 4Runner. Um, I mean, even the 3.5 Sienna and all that. So basically, Bank 2 and this is Bank 1. So whatever sensor you have, um, the code that I have is P0345. And I think the other one is P0345. Uh, what was it? Three, uh, 340 something or 330 or something. Um, I, I don't remember the exact numbers. I'll probably put it down in the comment below or in the in the title. But here's the camp sensors. Let me go ahead and show you. But before we do that, let's give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're going to go ahead and start this video right after the intro. All right, so first things first, what I went ahead and did is I took off the engine cover. So right here we have one, two. You would have your engine cover right here with two screws or two nuts. Uh, those are 10 millimeters. You take those off, lift this up a little bit, and then just pull it right out. So as you can see, it's right here. So you would have your screws just sitting right there in those little bolt, bolt holes, and then, you know, you just pull them out from there. All right, so... Coming right here, here is our sensor, our cam sensor. Um, there's a 10 millimeter. So this one's actually really easy to access. Um, now on the passenger side, it's a little bit more tedious as you can see. So if I get my light up in there, now you can see it pretty be better. Um, I am gonna try to take off that sensor without having to remove anything. Um, so literally, I'm gonna try my best to do that. So I'm gonna try to just literally use just a 10 millimeter wrench. Um, so right here, I am, uh, let's see, can I see? So I'm not gonna be showing you the best picture, but obviously you can see the bolt right here. And I'm gonna be using a 10 millimeter wrench. And then obviously I have a ratcheting wrench. All right, so I want to make sure actually this guy seats on there. Okay, so I'm able to get the bolt off. And then we'll just go ahead and loosen that guy right up. All right, so here's our 10. So we got that out. Now, as for the sensor... So let's see if I can get this out. So we're just gonna go ahead and push up and down. All right, so now we broke it free. Literally, this is like so much harder to do with the camera. I'm just gonna take off this guy right here, just so you guys can see a little bit better. You don't need to take that off. Um, so as I'm Just gonna push it. Just wipe off all the dirt right there. So I'm just gonna move the camera out the way just so I can get this guy. Now, basically, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pinching where the sensor's at. Or uh, I'll show it right now. So I'm just kind of using my finger. So here's my finger. And I have the sensor right there. So I'm just kind of bringing it back and forth while pushing it out at the same time. And then we got a little gap spreading now. Um, it is a little bit tedious, so let me get a flathead. So I'm gonna get this flathead. I'm just gonna dig it right in there. All right, cool. So, and then just spread that right out. All right, so we got that spread out a little bit. And then, all right, cool. So we got that. 
So now let's check out the sensor. All right, so we got that. So look how caked up the sensor is. Um, either way, we're just gonna go ahead and replace this bad boy. So we're gonna go ahead and press on the sensor. Now, if you have, as you spin this around, if you're able to get your flathead and just do that, just squeeze on the on the connector part. So either you can use your, you know, your thumb, but in this case, I'm just gonna use my finger so got that and then we got this pulled out now make sure when you're replacing these sensors make sure you're using OEM um, I mean you can use aftermarket but the computer is not gonna like it as you think it should so here's the part number right here crank sensor so or crank sensor no cam sensor well, anyways, that's the, the part number for it. Um, better not be no damn crank sensor. Uh, so, right there. So, just pause it, take a picture, whatever, write it down. Um, when you're doing this, make sure you lube this up with oil. Um, so, just pull out your dipstick. And then whatever oil on the dipstick, just, you know, wipe it on your finger. And then we'll just you know. okay. <coughs> and then we're gonna grab our disappeared connector. Story of my life. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this. All right, so. Now, as we're doing that, I'm just, you know, pinching it with my finger, and I'm just going to guide it in there. So, we're just going to kind of just, you know, rotate it in. Now, you don't want to squeeze on the, like, the bolt hole side. You just, just let it. You want to make sure it goes in evenly. But you get the gist of the idea, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. If you need to, just put a little bit of oil, or you can use, you know, your flathead, like screwdriver. So I'm just going to use the flathead from like right over here, just to kind of guide it right through. And then sorry about the whole camera angles guys I'm like really trying so anyways you got the gist of it I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this with both hands and then we'll get right back to the video so now we got the sensor bolted on so what I really did to help me uh, while I was pushing down on the inside so as I was pushing down like right here with my index finger I was using my other hand to go right through here with a flat head screwdriver um just to kind of like pick right there wherever that flat head's at i don't know where i tossed it at oh here it is duh right in front of my face and i was just um pushing down here at the same time so it was a little bit of tedious to get, seat that one in for some odd reason but we got it in make sure it's fully seated and we are fully seated um go ahead and put on your cover and then go ahead and clear the codes and start the vehicle and that is pretty much it if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching